welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is a little bit different. I'm not just going to sit down and talk to you. I'm going to be doing more than that. So I'm going to try out the McDonald's Big Mac today and I'm going to chat to you guys on how to survive. Just how to survive your first month in China. Just things to look out for and to prepare yourself mentally. I can't go outside to mcdonald's because of the coronavirus right now so i'm gonna have to take my phone and order some food and then i'll sit down and we'll have a chat before we get into that please don't forget to like my video to subscribe to my channel and to leave a comment if you have any questions all right let's go okay you guys so i need to go outside my order is here anyway Damn, it's so cold outside. Like, what the hell? Okay, so I'm I'm back and I just washed my hands, took off my coat, whatever. And I wanted to kind of show you guys what it looks like. The packaging looks like. So you can see that it's true what they say about China using up most of the plastic in the entire world. Plastic. But I understand the logic. Like, I actually understand why. But in South Africa, you know, like, we have, like, the cardboard that we use to, put, to hold the, the drink. But this is more practical actually to carry a drink and i did order the big mac because actually i've never tried i've never tried it in china so more packaging instead of just throwing it in the bag and now time for the big mac i'm i'm actually very excited to taste it I want to know if it tastes the same. Okay, the, the bag is empty. Throw it over there. And then this is what they use to put in the fries. So. How do I make a thumbnail for YouTube? Anyway, this is the Big Mac. Let's open it up. Okay. I mean... Yeah, I think it looks the same as the one in South Africa. So now we need to taste. Mmm. It's the same. It's actually the same. Hmm. Okay. So I wanted to chat to you guys. Like I mentioned, I want to speak to you guys on how to survive in China as a foreigner. I think most of my content is to help people who want to come to China. And mostly for a teaching job. So I think the first misconception is that you need to know how to speak Chinese. Well, nope. You don't need to know how to speak Chinese to survive here. Learning the basics will definitely be helpful. We use Google Translate to get by. Honestly, that's the best app. You download Chinese offline and you can use it um, without needing any Wi-Fi connection or any um, data on your SIM card. The next one is mm, social media apps. So to save your life, please download a VPN. I'm going to keep saying this in all my videos. Download a VPN because you won't be able to access your social media like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube. You won't be able to 
Access Netflix without your VPN. Mm, this is so good. And next one is do not discuss politics. You can discuss it with other foreigners maybe or you will get arrested or deported or but I just know there's a consequence for that. I'm gonna finish my food and then I'll talk to you guys later. Okay, so I am done eating and it's just two more points that I do want to talk to you guys about. The first one is food. So when it comes to surviving with food and stuff, all I'm going to say is you will find Western restaurants like your KFC, your Burger King, your McDonald's. Um, the prices are expensive. But you can always go to a Chinese restaurant and this is how you're going to survive that. If the restaurant is full, it means they sell good food, all right? But then you're probably wondering what's good to Chinese people might not be good to me. But I feel like um, it's just logic to go to the restaurant that's full. I wouldn't try a restaurant that's empty because if the restaurant is always full, a lot of people like their food, right? That's what it means. And then the second thing I want to talk to you guys about is taxi, using the taxis. So you can just stop a taxi in the middle of the street, but you will have to explain and make it very clear where it is that you're going. Or you could download the DD app, which is the same as Uber. And at least with that, you, have, you don't really have to explain much because you put in your address and then it picks you up where you, where you are and it drops you off where you want to go. Just using an app is much easier. Okay, I don't like making my videos too long because I don't want to bore you to death. <laughs> Thank you for tuning into this video. Please give me a thumbs up if you liked it. And please subscribe to my channel. Please. Okay? I need subscribers to grow my YouTube channel. Alright. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.